this is my room, this is my PC, and I want to put it in the cupboard. And s I won't be able to control it without a faceplate. So that's what we're going to be making today. The faceplate's going to have USBs, headphone jacks, power button, and an SD card slot. Before we start, I'm going to have to take the front ports off the PC. Now I've done that, we can take this over to the workshop where we can start working on this project. I have gone and gotten some parts from Electronics. Some cabling to run from the PC up into the faceplate. A button with an LED indicator in it. And some connectors that we can plug onto the board. First thing I'm going to do is solder the button and its LED. Now I'm going to make the end connectors that plug into the PC. Now that's made, we can focus on the audio jacks. First we have to get them out of this. Now I've got all the parts I need, let's start making it. First thing I'm going to make is the bracket for the audio jacks. <laughs> Cutting out its first face. And filing it flat. Cut along the other side. And file it flat as well. Scribe out the parts of the metal that we don't need. and cut it out. Now I want to file everything so the edges are square. And after a bit of filing, this is what we're left with. Also went and made this off camera. Gonna mark out the positions of where I need to drill the holes. Now I'm gonna center punch them. Time to drill. Beautiful focus. Gonna put a piece of foam over it so that the circuit board doesn't touch it and short circuit. And this is about how it's going to look. Now let's start making the bracket for the SD card reader. Scribing out one of its edges. And filing it away. Scribing out its other face. And now it's time to cut it in a not very traditional way.
fall down the edge. And cut the final face to size. Finish it up with some filing. There we go, we've got the blank piece. Now I'm going to measure out where the pins stick out and mark it onto the uh, piece of aluminium. And now it's time to cut it out. And some filing. Everything had been going really quite smoothly until this point. Now I went to put the metal plate that I'd made onto it but there was some hot mogul stopping it. I'm assuming it was there to stop you from undoing the yellow thing but I went to take it off and it ripped off a part and it actually looks like there was a piece of hot mogul on it deliberately to do that as you can see it's deliberately over it and I just have to hope that it still works without it but we'll deal with that later. Now it's time to drill the holes to mount the metal bracket to the SD card reader After filing all the edges, everything actually fit pretty well for something that I measured it on the fly. Now it's time to cut it out and bend it in the final shape of the bracket. Now hit it into shape. And again some more filing. Now it's time to fix the mistake that we made when taking that hot mug glue off. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to solder the two pads together that were originally connected by the part and hope for that it still works. I need to get a smaller tip for this. So good news is I went and tested it after I soldered it and it does actually work. Um, it took a little while to get the PC working because everything's everywhere but it does work. Anyway, back to what we were doing. And do the second one. and some filing all around. I think it's looking pretty good. This is the cable that I made for the SD card reader, or should I say extended. I've also made one for the audio jacks. Now all that's left to do is to mount everything onto the front plate. And the first thing I'm going to mount is this center punching the hole locations and drilling them too and the second hole I've gone and mounted it onto the faceplate I'm happy where this is going, it's nice and sturdy now let's mark and cut out the hole for the SD card slot. 
gone over it with a tri square and some calipers to make sure they were all straight. And I've center punched the holes as well. Time to drill. And drilling a second hole at the bottom so the saw can fit. Yes, I'm aware that's not how you're supposed to use a drill, but it worked, so I'm not complaining. Now it's time to cut it out with the coping saw. Man, I love the coping saw. And of course, give everything a nice filing. Alright, put it all together and let's see the, if the SD card fits in it. Also, it it's, looks like a face. And it does. Alright, now we're moving on to mapping the USBs. And it fits well. Let's mark out where we need to cut out for the USBs. And drill it out. Good job there, Butterfingers. Let's drill out the other hole. Gonna step up the drill bit size as high as I can. And cut it out with the coping saw. I know it's of course we're fine with it smooth. Let's go mark out where the holes are on the audio jack bracket. And drill them out. Alright, I've gone and marked out where the two holes are for the audio jacks, and let's cut them out. And the second one. Last thing we got to do is mount the button. Stepping up the bit size. Finally time to cut out the final shape of the faceplate. I 
I've decided to round two of the corners. It's, I don't know, aesthetics. Time to give it its finish. And I completely forgot to cut out the holes that I'm supposed to mount it with. It's looking pretty good. It's time to go and mount everything on it. I'm really happy with how this is turning out already. That looks so good. I did not expect that to go up. To, I did not expect that to come out that good. Even it's heavy. This piece of wood, this piece of wood is the exact same piece of wood that sits on the front of the drawer that's above the PC. I've got a spare of these because one of the rails broke on it and I found one on curbside cleanup and picked it up. Now this means if I don't like what it ends up looking like, I can always switch back to the old one. Marked out where I need to cut out and start cutting it out. Looking very good. Now it's time to go put the PC back together, put it in the cupboard, put that plate on the drawer, and we'll be done. So the face plate has been mounted in this drawer, and I've just taken the base of it off, so you can just sort of the cables can just sort of hang down into the PC. So I'm watching back and editing, and I realize there's a few things I've forgotten to mention. Number one, you probably laugh at how loud that bottom fan is. And it's a high airflow fan, and I can just turn it on and off if I want to. Um, I'll only ever have it, you know, when there's strenuous uh, GPU exercises, like if I'm video editing or playing games. It actually keeps it quite cool. It's at 47 degrees Celsius right now, and I was pretty much just stopped video editing then. Anyway, I'm going to go back to boring video editing. Um, I've hoped you've liked the video. Um, please like and subscribe. Do all those fun things. And I'll see you on the next one.